What's going on YouTube is Donnie B all day. All right, so over our time together, I brought you guys a whole bunch of different skinners. I brought you skinners that are super great quality, some crazy high-end stuff. One, which I didn't even bring you yet. One, which I just brought you. And then some of the cheaper guys and one that had an accident. And I'll tell you what, even though I brought you a ton of skinners already, I'm just not done skinning. I even have one coming in the mail, but that's not the one we're talking about today. The one we're talking about today is right over here. And here we have it. This is another Frost Cutlery Skinner made in Pakistan. Not too happy about that. Crappy sheath. I don't care about that. Um, but basically, this is a, well, it says German stainless, but when you're talking German stainless, I think hen and rooster and things like that and case blades and things. I think a really good steel and great knives. I don't think about the frost cutlery white-tailed deer skinner. Um, not when it comes, I think this is going to be very low-end um, German stainless. However, I have a feeling it's going to be better than that shred that broke on us um you know it is a it is a frost frost knife i believe it's a white tail which is a frost uh, frost company here but um so let's let's just go over this thing fit and finish first of all the blade is not exactly superiorly polished i have never used this and it came with like this little black mark here um it came with the scales not exactly tight here um, it came with, you could see some gluing and things like that. You could see that this piece right here isn't exactly flush. But what I didn't tell you is that it was probably less than 15 bucks. And these bone scales, it's real bone, and they're really nice. I have to say that the scales are sweet. And the blade itself, the edge, well, let's see. Let's see. I'm kind of at a bad angle here. But, and there we go. I don't know if, yeah, you guys are gonna be able to see this. I don't wanna lose it all. Meow. It's shave sharp out of the box. You can see all the hairs on it. Shave sharp out of the box is always a good thing, especially when you're talking about a skinner. Um, I'm really close to you guys because if I do this, you're not gonna see shit because the sun's behind me. Um, not that this knife is so beautifully perfect i need to get view uh, ultra close up but um it's a it's a typical skinning style a lot like the shrade a lot like the condor um this is this is a, a style and a shape that you've seen a thousand times i mean these guys are everywhere knives just like this um this one happens to be at the bottom of the price point that doesn't mean it's the bottom of the barrel quality at least we'll find out um, because that shrade, which I love, and that thing lasted me, you know, I had one for a thousand years, um, that snapped, and it, we'll find out. If this one breaks, then we'll be able to put it in that category. If it doesn't, we'll, we'll see exactly uh, how far we can take it, how far we can push it. I don't have any, um, any dead animals laying around to skin, and the, none of the dogs volunteered, so we're just going to... Um, we're just gonna cut some stuff and see where we can go with this bad boy. All right, so let's hang tough. All right, guys, so instead of the uh, plastic water bottle, we're gonna go with the aluminum can. But first, we got this, uh, I got the wind blowing, so I don't even know if it holds straight, but oh yeah, that is mighty, mighty sharp. And then I did that. Um, very, very sharp, very, very good. Let's. Uh, Get a bunch of fold action here and see. Did it go all the way through, all the way through, and that's a whole lot of different pages in there. So as far as is this thing sharp and will it cut? Can it skin? Hell yeah. Um, not too bad. The sheath sucks. Um, one thing about the sheath I'm going to show you is luckily they give you a snap to hold it in there, right? But check this out. <laughs> what the fuck man um yeah, i'm sure if i pulled hard enough yeah look at that i could just get it all the way through so sheath sucks 
the actual sheath part's not not too bad aside from it being thin and really well okay so it sucks um but that snap just it, it, get a better fitting snap guys come on all right so let's uh let's cut through some aluminum all right so let's see what we got here and precise so the only reason it didn't cut all the way through is because i didn't hit it all the way through um but let's see let's see sawing through aluminum especially with a cheap blade is a great way to dull it so this is going to be a nice test here let's see let's see and we'll give it another one over here i mean this is how you dull a knife so let's see let's see the edge still looks good it's got a pretty edge um and did we lose shave sharp um well let me see i got two hairs so i'm going to call it it's still shave sharp did it do as good of a job as it did before well it's actually coming off more i guess the water was keeping it on my arm so after slicing through some aluminum after cutting through some aluminum after slicing through some paper um still sharp it's even got some hair still on there so as far as the um, as far as the edge out of the box quality, I like it. I dig that a lot. Let's keep going. All right, guys. So vacuum cleaner hose. Let's uh, let's see how we do here. And I have to say, for this sub twenty dollar knife, this is I believe it was less than fifteen dollars. Um, it's gonna cut straight through plastic and rubber. Let's uh, let's continue that. So we have it here. We're gonna put the old finger on there. That's cut. That's cut. Wow, that was kind of easy. Wow, that's really easy, guys. That is super freaking easy to cut. Bam. All right. So let's uh, let's get some of this get some of this cordage here, and we'll see how it does against some some good old nylon cord and. That was a freaking breeze. I think that actually cut better than the Condor did. Oh no, don't quote me on that one, but I think it did. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we can go through two pieces easier than the Condor. The Condor took me two shots to do this. And that one, well, check that out. It actually got through the first part and then just left a couple hairs on the second. I'm gonna call that a pass, guys sharp 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 let's get rid of that let's uh toss it into here see if the scales are gonna stay true um all that vibration if these scales suck you can hear the twing all that vibration is gonna wow it's got some great bite that's gonna really loosen the scales if the scales aren't on there properly and you can hear i don't know i hope you guys can hear that you can hear the doing and um which is a real word but let's see, I think it's the doing from that part where I showed you earlier how fit and finish isn't all the way. The pins, still in there, no loosening. So it's making a sound like something's happening, but I believe it's just this scale rattling against this, this piece of blade here because fit and finish just isn't perfect. But did it loosen any more than it was when I picked it out of the box? Nope. So far, so good. So what do we know about this thing? Well, it cuts, right? It, um, it's gonna skin. It's gonna do a great job doing that. You're cutting rope easy. I can't even keep this thing. It's, it's getting a lot of bite, a lot of bite. This stick sucks, but the, um, the skinner is definitely doing its job. Let's see. Let's see. Well, I'd call that pretty fine right there. Um, try to find a little something harder. This is some hard, dry wood. And oh my goodness, I'll tell you what, if you need to make some crumble to start a fire, if I make about a thousand of those, that right there, look at these, man. That 
you put a pile of that together, you have one hell of a fire starter. Now let's see if we can give ourselves a, a nice spear point. Holy moly. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with the cutting ability of this, you know, sub $15 knife. This is not bad, guys. This is not bad at all. What did I call it? The white tailed deer, Skinner, Hunter, something. Um, <laughs> it's pretty freaking good. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. If you need a, a Skinner, this one probably, I'm gonna say, is better. Even though I broke it, but it took a long time to break one of those. I think this is better than the um, the Schrade Old Timer Skinner. Um, one thing I noticed is right here, and that's fine. It's crooked, so it's not perfectly ground. Honestly, that's a who gives a shit type thing. Um, it's a, uh, a hollow grind, and um, I have to say that the, the edge is done really well. It's a really deep edge. There's enough of it. I'm catching what I need to, and it's staying sharp through all the goofy little things I'm doing. But when you're talking about staying sharp after cutting through this kind of stuff, um, that's pretty good for anybody's knife. I don't care if it's $15 or $150. Um, you need to be able to stay sharp when cutting through um, solid, hard, plasticky, rubbery things. Um, that really shows off. Um, and then cutting through some hard wood and the edge stays beautiful. The edge is really nice. Um, that's impressive for a low money knife. Low money knife means low quality. So to have that edge stand up as well as it's doing, I'm impressed. I'll be more impressed if I throw it and don't break it. Let's go find out together. I had to hold off on pressing play or record because I had to toot. I didn't think you guys wanted to hear that. So here we are at the very exact same spot where I broke the tip off the shrade using a, a five yard throw. I'm gonna do the same distance, five yards. This is exactly the same style knife, same shape. It's pretty much the same size. It's like seven and a half overall, three and three quarter blade. I believe that's what it is. So it's as close to that as you're gonna find another knife. Um, this is where, this is where we find out what it's going to be good for and what it's not. Now I've never thrown this, so, oh, it landed in the tip. Let's see if it bent. No bending. So far, so good. All right. So I, I kind of threw it like a girl. I threw it kind of light because I was afraid of the angle, but we'll figure it out here. Oh, if that's going to break, that's going to do it. Let's see, everything's still tight, everything's still right. That was a horrible freaking throw, guys. I mean, if you can take all the bad throws in the world and put them in a barrel and mix them up and mold it into one bad throw, that was the one. All right, so let's try that again. <laughs> all right, remember I told you that was my first time throwing this? Well, it is, and so far, I haven't broken breaking a scale for the blade. What the fuck, guys? It's literally bouncing off of sticking it where I want to stick it, and it's just not collecting. All right, I'm going to try and change the grip here. Man, we are going to be out here all freaking day long if I don't catch this thing right because I don't plan on stopping. <laughs> and it is perfect <laughs> that is perfect so i'm assuming by whacking it sideways i had to loosen up these scales and uh i mean they feel fairly fairly tight they look about the same um but i didn't crack them and to be hitting it like this against a piece of wood I am insanely surprised that um, that this held up uh, once I get the throw down I could generally do it all day long it's not a problem 
but um, I, don't, I don't know how many it would take to break this thing. And it's a skinner, you're not gonna be throwing it. I'm trying to find out if, if this pull away from the blade, I think it's the same as it was. Um, I'm just being picky at this point. But, I mean, it's not a thrower. You're not going to be throwing it. And if you do, then high five. Um, it, it, it's a skinning knife. And if you use this thing as a skinning knife, even as a freaking cut open the box knife, um, for the money you pay, you're going to love this freaking knife. Uh, I found it on eBay, and I, I do believe it was sub-15. You can punch it up and find it out for yourself. Um, this right here, very, very attractive. It's comfortable. It's nice. I like the, um, I like the little dig out, the little, uh, worm holes that they put in there. It's really, really nice. The color is nice. It's, um, red enough to be red and still not be pink. Um, but if you're buying it for a female, it's still pink enough to be pink and not enough red. So, you know, it, it's, it can still be masculine along with being feminine. Um, and I guess that's good for everybody. Some people, shit, they're both masculine, feminine, all in one. And this suits them fine. Um, but, I mean, for a Pakistani blade, looking and, and, and fit and finish, you'd expect what a Pakistani blade to be like. It's not super polished. And it's not super high end. It's not super even. But it's really sharp. And it does the job. So, uh, you know, it's the white-tailed deer skinner, I believe. Um, frost cutlery, or it could be even uh, white tail. But I think that's just, uh, let's see, I don't freaking know. White tail might be part of frost cutlery. Or it's a frost cutlery blade and it says white tail because it's the white tail. No idea, but if you look it up on eBay, you will find it. You'll find it cheap. You'll find find it sharp so i like it it's cool i dig it i dig you guys you're all my friends i love you i'm down to be all day and until next knife